Okay, this one is about GWP or global warming potential. Okay, when we first started dealing with refrigerants and deciding whether they were good for the environment or bad for the environment, one of the first things we come up, come up with was ozone depletion potential or OEP. That was its capability of destroying the ozone layer. Well, whenever government does anything, they usually overdo it. And I'm not making a comment on whether this is really global warming is necessary, is real. I'm not making any comments on that because that's not the issue here. When they started with the ODP, we also got into GWP. So global warming potential is a potential of a gas. Now, I, I'm not going to be really definitive on this because I'd be here for uh, far too long. And it's not important for HVAC techs to know some of this. But global, global, global warming potential is just the ability of a gas to trap heat in the atmosphere. Sunlight comes flying down from the sun, strikes the earth, and is reflected back up. Okay, if it's reflected back up, some gases will interfere with that reflection and not allow it to reflect out to space, which is heat. It's heat bouncing off the earth, going back into space. Well, there are certain gases that inhibit that, so that when it does reflect, let's say we have a nice shiny earth that's made out of mercury or something that reflects everything. Okay, as that reflects back, then the gases that are in the earth's atmosphere can actually trap it and keep it in here. So that heat stays on the earth. Thus, global warming. Well, different gases do this at different rates. And it isn't just this rate. There's a lot more to it. But let's look at one of the primary, the primary criteria. If this gas absorbs that reflected heat more than another gas, now its global warming potential will be higher. But that's not all. Take an example. Uh, R134A, HFC134A, no ODP at all. Global warming potential, depending on who's doing the talking, is around 4,000. And the basis for this is CO2. Basis, uh, CO2 is one, everything else uh, has a higher global warming potential, I guess. Uh, so, R134A has a much higher, 4,000 times of the global warming potential of CO2, and yet CO2 traps more heat in our atmosphere than R134A. Why, you say? Because there's more CO2 in the air. 134A contributes this incredibly small amount of gas compared to CO2. And of course, if you compared it to oxygen or nitrogen, it, you're going to have to have a lot of zeros before that. So, uh, CO2 is actually the biggest greenhouse gas or has the highest global warming potential when you consider how much there is. So methane is real high and some other, I used R134A as an example simply because uh, when R134A first came out, we kind of thought it would not have to be recovered as all refrigerants are now. But then he says, no, no, we're going to have to recover it because it has a higher global warming potential. Okay, so we got involved with this global warming thing. 
for our service work. What does it mean to the service tech? Really not a blasted thing. It's just that when you see us trying to use refrigerants that are non-traditional, uh, all sorts of odd types of refrigerant, actually CO2 is a refrigerant, uh, the uh, uh, propane is a refrigerant. They're trying to use things like this that don't have as much impact, whether it is global warming potential or GWP or anything else they come up with tomorrow, uh, which I think they've already come up with a lot of stuff. But anyway, this is why there's so many of these different refrigerants out there. Uh, R134A, as the example, has no ODP at all. It does not uh, destroy ozone. But it has a, uh, a global warming potential. So this is why that was not the uh, silver bullet for all uh, refrigeration applications. It, uh, we have had to move to other ways. Now it's not illegal. 134A is not illegal, but there will come a time when we no longer use it. So most of the refrigerants that you use have a global warming potential that is high enough that they're going to be considered for removal sometime in the future. So I don't know if I've explained this really good, but this that's what it is, global warming potential.